Trust me, people, don't be scared of this dish. The flavor is absolutely insane. You gotta do it. Classic Mexican menudo, baby. Menudo rojo. That's it. I cannot wait to show you how I like to make mine. First time I had this, Central Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Mel Schmiller Jr., Dark Side of the Grill. I cannot wait to show you my recipe for classic Mexican menudo. Hit me up in the comments. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell. Do all the things because we're going to have a deadly time learning how to make Mexican menudo, baby. Let's get it. Now, I smoke a ton of brisket, so I'm constantly rendering out my own beef tallow, right? This is smoked beef tallow. I use it for absolutely everything. Goes in the pot. Definitely going to season the pot before we throw them chunks of pork bones in there. This is the pork bones that I'm using today. Usually, I use trotters, man. Whole pork feet. Absolutely love it. The pork hocks, right? Something with the bone in it. Right now, we're using these little mini spare ribs because they were cheap. They were easy. They were there. And we're going to achieve the same flavor as we would any other way, um, just missing the skin. But the skin, gonna get covered up with the tripe, so it is what it is. We're chopping these up into nice little chunks. This is where the magic happens, is the cartilage in this mangled big bottom part of bone, right? People used to use this, throw it in the grinder. No way, man, no way, no how. This is what menudo, this is the backbone to it. All that cartilage cooks out, cooks down. That's where a ton of the flavor is. Do not skimp on this. This is exactly how we're gonna do it. Toss it into that pot, let it sit for a bit, and it'll pop off, brown it out. Absolutely deadly. Brown this stuff for quite a while is the goal here, for sure. Tripe, baby. This is the honeycomb tripe. The inner lining of the cow stomach. Take a look at that. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? This is it. This is all part of menudo, baby. Wanna cut this into strips? I like to leave them nice and big because they're nice and chewy. Just like that. A lot of people don't love the texture. Mel is a huge fan of the texture of, of tripe. Especially in menudo. Also like it a dim sum, man. They do a, a ginger. Ginger tripe is absolutely amazing as well. Yeah, we're just cutting it up in the nice little sections here. There we go. Tripe, ladies and gents, honeycomb tripe, absolutely perfect. Don't skimp on your tripe, people. Oh, love it. And then we're gonna add some salt. Absolutely love a little bit of salt in here, right? And then as they cook down, They'll quit sticking to the pan once they brown up. And we're just getting them nice and brown before we start boiling them down. This is it right here. Those tiny little beautiful riblets. Oh, I love it. Nice and golden brown. All right, now we're going to add some water to this. Oh, yeah, baby. And now we're going to start stewing them down big time. Oh, this is going to be deadly. Now we're going to stew these down, get all them flavors out of there. Oh, yeah, baby. Now we're going to prep our pepper paste. We're going to take some onion, take some garlic, fresh, toss it in the water. This is lukewarm water. Then we're going to throw in some wajillos. We're going to throw in some chipotle peppers, even a couple of anchos, right? Uh, a parcia, whatever you got floating around the house. But I'm pretty picky about wajillo, chipotle, and ancho being the absolute bangers for this. Very good. Then we're going to toss this on the stove just a little bit. These chipotles, look at them. Absolutely perfect. We're going to toss it on the stove and we're going to simmer it just a little bit with a lid on. What the plan is, is to warm these up and add the, the moisture back into them so that we can hit them with that beautiful uh, emulsifying blender, right? That little, little grinder blender guy that we got. We absolutely love it. So let's rehydrate these real quick and then let's toss them in the cup. Bada boom, bada bing. Magic of TV. There we go. Rehydrated in the cup they go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the easiest, best thing. This also works as like a, 
a paste that you can use for smoking um, and biera, right? This is the base for, for most recipes. Doing this traditionally with rehydrated peppers, the earthy tones that come from this. Um, I leave the seeds in it because I like it spicy, baby. But you can crack it open and pull the seeds out too. No big deal. See, I added a little bit of the water in there because it's going to blend down nice and milky is what you want. With this, this immersion blender is... Man, that sucker's worth a ton of money. I absolutely love this. One of the coolest inventions I think I've ever seen. Makes kitchen stuff, especially this, just an absolute whip, man. I love it. So here we go. We're blending this right down just to a mush, right? And then we're going to toss that into our soup. This is, like I said, the backbone for this. This is um, blending up real nice, real nice here. I just like playing with this thing, to be honest with you. It's such a cool toy. The first time I had it, I was like, oh, yeah, I used it for everything. Now I don't really ever even use my Vitamix. I have a gigantic Vitamix and I absolutely never use it because this thing is just so much more fun. But here I digress. Here we go. Very well blended. It's nice and mushy. And then we're going to get ready, toss this into the soup. Like I said, the backbone of Menudo, real peppers, rehydrated. All right, now we're going to add that pepper paste. All of that that we've done, look at this. Oh, yeah, baby, right there. Blip, blip. One more blip. You know what? Let's go for broke. Oh, beautiful. The wajillos, the garlic, the ancho, the chipotle, all of it. Get it out of there. Start mixing it in. That's money, baby. Yeah. And then waste not, want not. We rinsed it out. Boom. Nice and clean. Take that. Now we're going to throw a little bit of that adobo in there. Just a nice, easy, even flavor, right? Get a little bit of that going. We've got one pork cube, right? XO pork cube. A little bit of that ground chipotle because I like that heat, man. I like that heat. And this is just a nice base. It doubles up on the paste that we put in there, right? So this is this is my, my go-to, and then we'll mix that up again. Oh yeah, baby. This is going it's going right where we want it already. Now the reason why the water's still low is because we're stewing those bones up real good. You want to really concentrate on this. Then we're gonna fill the water up. We're going to start adding all of our veggies and stuff like that in a little bit here. And this is it, man. Canned hominy. Never go wrong with canned hominy. If you have to do frozen, you have to do frozen. But trust me, you need hominy. Once I put corn in a pozole and I insulted the entire Mexican race, do not do that. So canned hominy, one in there. Also, get you traditional... Be very picky about it. Mexican oregano. This isn't... <laughs> in Canada, we called Mexican oregano. That was weed for the longest time. It's not weed. There's an actual herb. Mexican oregano. It's good. It's spicy. I like it. One of the things I can't stress enough, and I fast-forwarded this just a bit because you guys have just as much time as I do, probably, and uh, I'm trying to save it. So, most important thing with... Lots of cooking is fresh ingredients, right? Fresh chopped everything. So lots of this is toppings, right? These white onions, we're cutting up super small, nice little little quarter inch size. That's going to go across the top at the very end. Now these red onions and the other half of that white onion, I'm cutting big rustic chops. Those are going into the soup and they're going to cook down like crazy. Same with the garlic, right? A little bit of this cilantro is going to go in. But for the most part, this is all toppings, right? Radish, fresh radish. I eat half of these before they even make it to the bowl. So it is what it is. But cut nice and thin, right? And then your lemons, limes, sorry, limes. Nice and easy. Cilantro, you don't want to crush it. Nice sharp knife. Mince that up. And then I toss this into a shallow bowl. And then uh, toppings are ready to go. Toss that back in the fridge. And you can even use it for tacos later. That's absolutely deadly. So we're going to toss everything in here now. And it's stewing. We're at the point now where we can turn down the roll and boil a bit. We're throwing our fresh veg in there. It's ready to go. We're going to throw our tripe in there too. We're going to throw our hominy in there. This is already pre-cooked canned hominy. So this is 
definitely doesn't need to be pounded the way that those bones needed to be pounded, right? When we were rolling boil hard for a couple hours, we're trying to get that bone pull on that meat. We wanted it nice and tender, get a lot of the flavors out. Now we're gonna take it easy, almost more of a simmer to get to the end here. We'll do a bit of a boil because we want that tripe to cook down a bit, but not heavy, not heavy. We're not looking to just mash everything up because that's exactly what you'll end up with is just a mash stew. And we definitely don't want that. So here we are, right? We've given it 20 minutes, half an hour. It's looking good. Everything's looking soft. That tripe, we're gonna give it probably another 20 minutes, half hour, and then we're gonna jump right into it. Um, I'm hungry. I'm real hungry. This is looking really good, baby. Really good. And look at that bone pull. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, baby, we're almost done here now. Take a look at this. The hominy's puffed up, right? Oh, that beautiful tripe. The tripa sits tripe is looking fantastic. The bone pull is happening. Oh, those beautiful pork bones are just falling apart. You ready for this? I think we're just about ready to shut her down. Look at she's spitting everywhere, making a mess. Ugh. Yeah, I think we're just about ready. I'm gonna let the soup rest for about 15 minutes and then we'll dish it up. Oh, baby. So good. And there she is, the soup's rested. Now we're gonna get our fresh toppings out that we chopped up a little while ago. And let's ladle this soup on there. Look at those beautiful pork chunks, just perfect. Oh, the tripe, look at those awesome pieces of tripe. The hominy puffed up just enough where you know it's just gonna cut right through with your teeth. Oh, beautiful. Red, the rojo, right? Menudo rojo, that beautiful silky red color, you know. We nailed this recipe. We absolutely nailed it. Now we got our fresh cilantro that's been chopped. Very nice. We don't rip. We chop. Super sharp knife. Very tasty. White onions, baby. Don't skimp on them white onions. I love a raw white onion. Drives me nuts. We got fresh chopped radish, right? I love radish as well. I eat these just like chips all the time when I'm cutting them up fresh, so it's hard to get them back to the plate, but here we are. And then a squeeze of lime over across the top. Some people will put chili flakes on top of that. I absolutely love it. Or they have fresh cabbage and they'll munch up some cabbage and toss it on top. Absolutely deadly, ladies and gentlemen. Take a look at this soup. This soup is in freaking credible. I cannot wait to dig into this. Ladies and gents, it's time. Let's get her. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. All that hard work has finally paid off. Mm. So jam-packed with flavor. The chilies, that earthy tone, everything. I love that tripe, baby. This is... Oh incredible and these bones man the chewy ones why not eat them nothing but protein <laughs> like a coyote in the dumpster baby i always say nothing but giver look at this absolutely gorgeous This is one of those soups, <clears throat> constantly burning the roof of my mouth, trying to taste it, eat it all the time because I just want it so bad. This is a classic hangover cure, stew, soup, whatever. You need to try this 110%. Get on it right now, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you subscribe, hit me in the comments. Do all the things, all the buzzers, all the bells. Do all of that for me. Share, whatever. I appreciate the love. Ladies and gentlemen, dark side, out. Look at it, babe. Whoa. Menudo, baby.